Warning. Disturbing content. Viewer discretion is advised. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of interesting things. Serious what's the scariest thing you've ever experienced? When I was 9 my alcoholic dad got drunk one time and he started getting in a fight with his GF. He attacked her and she was screaming really loud. I went by my 5 year old sister to comfort her. My dad's GF eventually ran away to our neighbor's house call the police. My dad started crying so I went to check on him and he grabbed a knife and slit his wrist. Then he went to his room and fell on the floor. Our neighbor walked in to take us to her house. The police and ambulance came to my house. I didn't see what happened, but my grandma came to take me and my sister to my mom's house and we started living with her. I remember, I was in high school, so my mom woke me up to get ready for the school. Of course I was so lazy moving like a turtle. Anyway my room door has glass, but it is frosted glass. I was packing my backpack, and from the mirror, in front of the door, I literally saw a silhouette right in front of this glass looking at me. Short black hair and long figure. At that time we were alone with my mother, so I just froze. I immediately turned back, but the silhouette was gone. I told my mom about it of course she didn't believe me. I'm 29 now, sometimes I remember this weird situation and it still creeps me out. Maybe I was too sleepy, but it was scary experience. I was locked out of my dorm once because I violated curfew rules. I wouldn't be let in for another hour, it was around 3 in the morning, so I decided to go to the 7 over 11 nearby to kill time and get some food. For some reason, I decided to take a shortcut by passing through an empty dimly lit alley where the only buildings are warehouses. When I was just starting to pass through said alley, I passed by a trans woman whose face and Mac Ute looked like the bride in black from the Incidus movies. She was creepy af, and moments later, after I passed by her, she starts calling me, PSSST and follows me to the alley. I calmly walked faster, and when looking back at her, she seems to have stopped following me, but she still called me. I was a bit relieved when she stopped calling. But I fucking booked it out of there, when the next PSSST was uttered directly behind me, I hid in the 7 over 11 bathroom for a few minutes before coming out and checking if she followed me there. To my relief, the cashier told me that there was no other customer who went in the store after I arrived. Needless to say, from then on I was careful not to violate curfew rules. Woke up one morning and saw a person hiding behind a tree in my front yard. I went outside and asked what was going on, and he told me he was just in a car accident, and he was drunk. Saw so he was bleeding pretty bad, and I suggested we call for help. He did not want help. I wanted him off my land, so I asked if he needed a lift somewhere. He assured me he only needed to rest a moment, so I went back inside and got my shotgun to sit with on the porch swing while he figured shit out. There's a prison not too far away, so we are wary of strangers at night. Learned the next day it was just some drunk kid that wrecked his dad's car going too fast. For a while there I really did think the man in the bloody clothes was some escaped convict bent on killing my family. Scared the shit out of me. I have so many stories, but when I was in elementary my best friend lived two houses away from me, we don't live in the best neighborhood, and things about people getting killed, or shot were heard about, or seen very frequently, but I have a friend whose brother was a drug dealer and he lived in front of us, and his brother was getting into a street fight and there were so many people around, and I was just walking with her. Back to my house, when we heard a gunshot, when I tell you I've never ran so fast in my life. I don't think anyone was shot I believe they just shot in the air to get everyone to stop fighting, but still I was like 9 and terrified. Two things, I was talking with a friend of mine, who later became my boyfriend but unrelated, and he was telling me how he wasn't in a good headspace and had begun harming himself again. I was trying my best to help him calm down then at one point he just stopped responding. Scared the shit out of me and I couldn't sleep that night. 
I saw him at school the next day and gave him the biggest hug ever turns out his phone had just died or something, but I was terrified. I've always had bad eyesight, one eye is perfectly fine, the other one is legally blind. One day I woke up in a night terror, I don't know if it's the right name for it, it's just what I call it, when you wake up, but you're still in a nightmare or you're seeing something when awake. The thing with this one is, that I couldn't see anything. Not the light from my window, the light from my phone, nothing. Scared me a lot. It went away after a few minutes though, and I went back to bed. Honestly getting jumped by like 8 people. There was a whole riot of nonsense going on and pine group of people mistook me for someone else. Only thing I remember is saying, I'm not. Woke up after what I thought was a few seconds, but was much longer. Got sucker punched and kicked and stomped, after getting knocked out. Nearly broken jaw, and very sore, but I was okay overall. Also, woke up acting high as shit. I was fully sober, but acted an absolute fool talking to my parents as well as my friends one tenth. Do not recommend. It might be sleep paralysis maybe not, but it was a Friday and my brother had got me to watch some scary stuff I was fine with it at the time and before going to sleep, but I woke up in the night to see on the upstairs landing outside my bedroom two white dots that looked like eyes I sat there staring for about 1h terrified I couldn't lay down or anything just stare I shouted for my mom but nobody came about 30 meters. Passed before I could shout again and she came, but it was horrifying I think it was sleep paralysis, but it like to go through it again, to see what it was like, since I was way younger when this happened. Recently saw a guy get the crap beaten out of him by a group of kids. I'd never seen a street fight before. There were so many people watching, and hardly anyone stepped in, because one of them, I struggle to remember, if it was the guy being hit or the guys hitting him, had a hammer. Still remember the sound of the punches they put on him and the yelling. Thankfully, people did step in. But now I totally understand why the bystander effect happens. Can't help thinking what would have happened if someone hadn't stepped in. Being put under surveillance after looking into things I shouldn't have looked into. I worked for one of the biggest companies in the country and they handled a lot of sensitive data just due to the nature of the service they provided. I freaked out after I realized what I stumbled into and then I started having panic attacks when they let me know I was being watched. I drove across the country spontaneously and was in a city for 12 hours, slept there and went to a church the next day and someone stopped me to let me know they knew who I was, they knew what I knew and that they knew my secret and I should back off. Unfortunately I was kind of compromised due to a secret I had kept since I was like 9 years old. I've since started to embrack this secret of mine, so it's less of an issue now, but back then it actually ultimately led to a suicide attempt. I've done my best to put it behind me, but I still wonder who was behind it all, like was it a secret society slash organization? Just one or two obscenely wealthy people hiring a small army of private investigators? Now I do a ton of research on surveillance and data collection, as well as psychographic targeting. It's pretty scary knowing how many ways they can watch us and how much data they have on us and on top of that wondering what sort of wealthy groups or organizations we don't know about that can access those resources. When I was 7 we lived somewhere that didn't snow often, but every 2 years or so for a couple of days there was just enough snow not to go to school. Now my mom and dad were slash are divorced, and it wasn't a bad divorce they are still really good friends. They also lived around a 10 minute walk from each other, so with my sister we starting walking from our mom's house to our dad's house, but along the way we had an argument, because I wanted to take a DJ. So we went our separate ways it was all fine, because we lived in a small friendly town where the last bad thing that everyone talked about was how bad the weather always was lol. Now for random reasons I have quite a bit of paranoia in a way that to put it simply I kinda don't trust people, but in a more in a way that I sometimes think that everyone is out to get me, it always seems silly after. Now I'm about 2 minutes from my dad's house, and along a semi main road I see a guy dress weirdly, and makes me think he is suspicious. My protective parents always told me to look out for strange men, but he turns around 
and look about 85, so I relax a bit, but I look around, because my guard was up, and see a guy who looked like a typical comic store guy in about his 30s wearing all black with his hood kinda up. This makes me suspicious, but I decide to keep looking forward. Soon due to being seriously paranoid by this, I look back and see his is in a semi run, getting closer towards me, now I panic, so I walk, after is am only about one and a half minutes from my dad's house, he continues to run, so I start running and turn to an alley, that is a shortcut to my dad's house specifically. I don't see him, so I think that was silly of me, he was probably just jogging or late for something but as I start to slow down I see him turn into the alley. I immediately started to run as he said something, but I was too shocked to respond. I ran into my dad's house panting. What a surprise no one took my story seriously, and true I may have dropped something, or he had another reason, but that shit was scary as a kid, not the scariest thing that has ever happened to me, just felt like sharing it.